Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope everyone out there is having a great day. This is Kieran Tross, and I'm your instructor once again over at the Cloud Scholars page. Today, we are going to continue with learning Terraform, uh, utilizing Azure as our main provider. Uh, so what we want to do right now is hopefully you've seen the other videos where I did the introduction, uh, talk to you about uh, installing Visual Studio Code, and then also uh, setting up your environment for uh, the app registration within the Azure portal. So hopefully you've gotten all that done uh, and completed. In this video, we're going to start off and start having some fun and actually learning and writing some code. So um, had to get the other stuff out the way, but now we are able to actually start doing some fun stuff. So we're going to start off slow. So if you know anything about Azure, uh, within Azure, there are uh, resource groups and you also have your resources, and you have your subscriptions. So one of the things I want to do in this uh, video is show you how to create a resource group using Terraform. Um, I think that this is one of the uh, foundations that was really going to help you out in learning uh, Terraform. So we're going to take it slow within these videos. Uh, what I want to do is just really show you the power of Terraform. So I have the Azure portal right in front of me and I'm going to go to resource group and we have a bunch of resource groups here and I'm going to create a resource group within the portal. Now you can fast forward this a little bit if you know how to create a resource group. But the reason why I'm showing you this is so I want to show you how it gets done in the portal. And I'll do that throughout the series, and then I'll show you how to do it within Terraform because it's to show you exactly the power of doing the uh, setup with Terraform and using that automation. So the resource group we're going to create here is a MKT RSG. So this is going to be for our marketing group, and we're going to drop this in an ECUS location. We're not going to do any tags. We're just going to do review and create, and then we're going to click on create. So our resource group was created, but we want to make sure that we're creating our resource group and utilizing Terraform. So I'm going to come back to this resource group and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this resource group. Copy that. Come here and I'll just hit delete. OK, so now that this has been deleted. OK, so the resource group has now been deleted, but now let's go over and let's take a look at some Terraform. Um, code and see how we can go about doing this. Okay, so I just pulled up the Terraform uh, page. And one of the things that we have here is our Azure resource group. And when you go through this, you'll see that um, you go to providers, HashiCorp, Azure RM, and there's a bunch of different um, different resources you can deploy. So, you know, you have Arc, Kubernetes, you have batch, you have billing. There's a lot of things that you can go through here. And we're going to go through this throughout different videos. But what I want to show you is this is an example usage. So you have resource Azure RM resource group example. This is what you will call it within your environment. And then name this section here is what it will display as within the Azure portal. And then location, you need to put whatever location you want to put that to. But then there's other things that you can have with it as well. So you see it says managed by optional, the idea of the resource or the application. Um, it has tags, which is optional. You could add a tag to it as well. And then you have ID, addition, um, attributes, references. So there's more stuff that you can do within it. What we're going to focus on right now is just using this in this manner. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to now paste that in here. So once again, notice how this is now um, circle icon is just letting you know there's new something here. So you have to save it. Um, what I want you to notice is that we have our resource or this is our module that we're working with. It's a, it's a Azure resource group. And over here is what you'll call it. And this is what it's going to be referenced. So when you want to reference, see reference name example, um, when you want to reference it and call it from another command or some other page, this is where we would call it from. So we're going to say MKT uh, RSG for resource group. And then down here is how it's going to show within um, it within the Azure portal. So I'm just going to keep it the same RSG. Now you can call this something else. So you could say MKT marketing resource group, and you could say one, 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 and then you can have it show up like this within the portal. I like to keep it the same because it's just easier to reference. It's totally up to you and how you and your team are working, but everybody has their way of working. But for us, we're just going to keep it as simple as possible because this way it's just much easier to digest and learn new information. Now over here where it says location, I'm going to change this. I'm going to put it to East US. 
you can put it to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter if you want to put it to another location, you can as well. So after that's done, we're just going to go ahead and click save. So one thing that you have to notice is that even though when we're creating this, um, there are certain commands that you need to um, adhere to and understand, right? So one would be uh, Terraform init. Another one would be Terraform plan. And then another one would be Terraform apply. So let's talk a little bit about those different uh, commands. So the core commands for Terraform uh, that you'll be using a lot is um, initialize, plan, and apply. So um, with initialize, uh, it prepares your workspace so you can Terraform can apply your configuration. With plan, allows you to preview the changes Terraform will make before you apply them. And then apply will make the changes defined by your plan to create, update, or destroy resources. So let's talk a little bit about init. Um, with comes to init, uh, in order to prepare the work directly for use with Terraform, um, there's the following step. So it's uh, back initialization, it's the child module installation, and then there's plugin installations. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a Terraform init so you can see exactly how it looks. So down here, you want to go to your terminal. If you don't have it open, you can come up to the top and you just go terminal and then you just, you know, new terminal. Um, and then this way you'll see it pop up right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do Terraform init. And you see the first thing it says is initialize in the back end. Now yours might take a little while longer. If this is your first time running it. I ran mine before, but it's notice it says initialize in the back end, initialize and provide a plugins, uh, reuse in previous version of HashiCorp from dependency log file, um, so on and so forth. So I ran mine already, so this is why I ran so quickly, but normally it does take a little while to run. So the next command that we want to look at is Terraform plan is, uh, is a Terraform CLI command that, that previews the changes that we made to the infrastructure based on the current configuration of your code. So down over here again, we're going to just do Terraform plan. And now you have this out.main.tf. You can do that if you want to, and I'll show you how it looks when you do it the other way. And then you do it with the main.tf. So we're just going to do a Terraform plan. And as you can see, um, it says uh, Terraform uses the selected providers to generate the following execution plan. Um, it says Terraform provide the following action. So it says, hey, uh, we notice that you have a resource group MKT will be created, right? And then it says ID known after the apply. That's when you get the ID that's referenced for that specific uh, resource and then location. And then it also has the name and see it says plan one to add and then zero to change and zero to destroy. Um, and then it says, no, you didn't use the out option to save the plan. So Terraform can't guarantee to take exactly these actions if you run Terraform apply. So I'm going to run Terraform plan out main.tf plan. Now make sure you put in a dot main.tf plan and not do main.tf because you're going to get uh, a weird error message and your file is going to get corrupted. So you don't want to do that. But you see now after we do that, it's given us pretty much the same stuff as letting us know what actions are going to get created. It lets us know the resource group. It says one to add, but it also says to us, um, save the plan to main.tf plan. It didn't give you that message as it did before. Now, before we run the Terraform and apply, I'm going to go and look at what the, the definition says and also look at our Azure portal as well. So Terraform apply. So this command will execute the actions that are detailed in a Terraform plan. This will just deploy the resources in your environment. Now, the good thing about Terraform apply, it will also tell you if, you know, hey, you know, these are the actions that we're going to, that I'm going to apply. These are the resources that are going to be created or destroyed. And you get the option to now say yes or no to that as well. So it's kind of like a plan in itself with using Terraform apply. You don't have to do Terraform plan all the time. You can just go and do Terraform apply if you would like wanted to as well. So remember, we are going to create a uh, resource group. So if you look here, we have these resources. All these are created within the Azure portal itself. Um, it was not created through code or the one that we created, the, uh, the marketing resource group we did delete earlier in this video. So now we're going to go back over to our Terraform code and we're going to hit apply. So now we're going to go down here, form, apply. And as I mentioned to you before, I said that, you know, it will let you know what's going on. So this kind of looks how the plan tells us stuff, right? So it says 
Azure Resource Group, MK Marketing Resource Group, and then it says want to add, and then it also says, do you want to perform these actions? Only yes will be accepted to approve. So I'm gonna type yes. And you see it says as a resource group creating creation complete after um, a creation create um, then it gives you the subscription and then it's also giving you the ID remember earlier it said ID known after apply so now it knows it because after you hit apply so it says apply completed resources added one and zero change zero destroyed so now let me go over to the as a resource I mean the, the portal and let's see if Terraform is alive or not so I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna hit refresh and there we have it. We have our MKT, our marketing resource group. So give yourself a pat on the back. You have created your first resource using Terraform within your Azure portal. So I'm going to end this video um, here. Um, I hope that the information and you were able to walk through it and be able to pay attention and follow through with what's going on within this video. So I want to thank you for watching and taking the time out of your busy day to follow um, this video. Uh, once again, my name is Kieran Tross. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.